Now we are discussing how the exchange is happening using the OSI model. Now you can see a nice diagram which is on your screen. But before that, we must know that this diagram is representing the OSI data transfer. Now, first of all, we know that there are seven layers of the OSI model. So one is the application, then presentation, session, transport, network, data link, and physical layer. So these are the seven layers of the OSI model. And they all are given as the number one physical, two data link, three network, four transport, five session, six presentation, and seven application layer. This diagram is the extension of one diagram. Actually, this is the system A. Let us suppose this is my system. And this is system B, which is your system. I am sitting on my system. Let us suppose user one interacting here, sending the data. You are here, user 2. I am sending the data to you. And the data is received by you. And in between, we know that there is an exchange. Means that all the seven layers of the OSI are working at your end as well as at my end. In between the transmission medium. So on the left hand side is my system from which I am transferring the data to you and then on your side you are receiving the data. So now we are discussing one by one that how the data is transferring. Let us assume that I am the user one which is sending the data from my system. I am interacting on my system. I started the data transmission and send you a data. This is the data. Well, remember one thing whenever the seven is mentioned, seven means application layer, six means presentation and so on. So D7 means the data at the presentation layer, data at the application layer because seven is the application layer. Now, whenever the data reach to the application layer, application layer attaches its header. Now, the meaning of header, we know that whenever the data is transferred in the network, there are two parts of the data. One is the D means actual data and one is the header. So talking about the data, let us suppose that any message I want to transmit to you that message is called the data and second thing is header header contain the information of sender and receiver I can take out this example as a postcard let us suppose that you have written a card postcard something is written inside that now you are covering that postcard into one envelope and on that envelope you are going to write the address of sender and receiver. So let us suppose that this is the H7 means application layer written the address of that. So this whole is becoming now the data in which there is a letter and above is the envelope with the sender and receiver address. Now this combined thing, this combined thing which is the combination is now becoming D6. Because you know that this data is transferred to the next layer. So head and data combination is becoming D6 means data for the presentation layer. 
Now presentation layer also added is header. Let us suppose that this complete letter is given to the next person. Next person also put an envelope on that like this. So it is H6. One more envelope is applied on that. We are actually giving the letter to the person, seven person we are passing. So seven person are going to put the envelope. Seven times means envelope will be there. So data is becoming more secure. Now, this complete data is now going to the next layer. So this is now becoming the D5 complete data. And then header is added H5. 5 means the session layer. So again, one more envelope is applied. This is the logical example which I am telling you with the help of envelope that envelopes are applied H5. So with the help of this example, you can learn. That's why I'm giving this example. So this whole is becoming the data now. And this whole is transferred to the next layer which is becoming the D5, this whole is becoming the data. Now transport layer is going to add the header H4. H4 means header of transport layer. So again, one more envelope is applied. So this is one more envelope, which is H4. Then it is further forwarding. Here this complete is becoming the data and given to the next one. So this is a complete data. D3 means the data coming at the third layer, network layer. And network layer is going to add on its header. So one more header H3 is applied. So now again one more envelope is applied. So this is one more envelope H3. It is then forwarded again. So this hole is becoming the data now. So this is the data. Now the interesting thing. In the last example, we have seen that the data link layer has the framing. Framing is something different. In the framing, what we do, there is a data. We used to put the header before that and also the trailer. Head and the tail, both are applied. So this is called the frame. That is a special thing. In the frame, we used to put the header as well as the trailer. So the data link layer that is only possible. So that's why we are saying H2 means header of data link layer and tailor of data link layer. So these two things are added. So we are assuming that this is whole is into one envelope, which is having the header and tailor. So this is the envelope. This is H2. And then we are moving further. This complete thing is now becoming the data. And we know that the physical layer deals with the bits. Bits means 0, 1, 0, 1. So that's why this D1 we are representing at 110011. You can also write D1 data as the physical layer. Physical layer is going to add the header H1. So H1 is also the bits. That's why we are mentioning 010 or something. So you can also write. So there one more time. The last time we are going to add on the header and that is H1. So this is how the data which you have sent, which was very small. This data is now becoming the 
multiple envelopes are applied now what is happening so data is going to pass from the transmission medium wired or the wireless now at your location again at your part osi model will work here you will get the complete thing means this whole thing you will get but this portion is discarded so you assume that the seven times envelopes are placed now you are going to remove the envelope one by one means all the layers are going to check the envelope of their layer and remove them so the h1 envelope is removed now the h2 envelope is another data is passed on to above layer similarly the above layer is going to discard the h2 and t2 whatever the added earlier so that is going to discard the header so this d2 is going above and then header is discarded so this way the data is processing so here you can see that the h3 is discarded it is again going further and h4 transport is discarding its header so this one is also discarded means we are uncovering the different different envelopes which we have applied again we are moving further h5 is discarded so one more envelope is removed then moving further h6 means the header of presentation layer is discarded so from here h6 is now no more then further application layer header is discarded so this h7 is discarded now if all these layers are removed we are only having the data which we have sent earlier so this was the data which we have sent now this data is received by you so at this side user 2 is present who is going to read out that particular data so that thing is very much easy to understand with the help of the osi model exchange policy we are having different different layers we are having the seven layers so seven times the header is added by every layer at the center side so data is transmitted now on the other side all the headers are removed one by one and only the required data is sent to the destination so that is the exchange using the osi model